I have been putting off this vlog for a ridiculously long time. <laughs> 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 oh. So this kitchen has been missing a backsplash for a good little chunk of time. Ever since we moved in, when we first got in, it had like the pill and stick backsplash. It, it wasn't to our standard of quality, obviously. It was the people that lived here before us. Based on a lot of the work that we've seen around the house and the update, it's just obvious that it was very much like their, their quick flip before they sold and trying to do some quick, cheap updates. But, you know, none of it was really good work like pill and stick in a permanent home. Like I can understand it if you're doing an RV or something. In a home, let's use real tiles. The mistake was in the very beginning, I just get so gung-ho with the demo side of things. <laughs> like I'm so anxious and ready to tear into these projects and then putting them back together again is a little bit Humpty Dumpty. As burnout would have it, <laughs> we put a lot of our time and energy into other areas of this renovation up here and um, didn't get around to the backsplash. Let's see, we replaced the countertops, so we did some countertops. It made a huge difference. It really just brightened up that space so much. Um, but the, the backsplash, or the lack thereof, since peeling off those pill and stick tiles, it just looks so bad. <laughs> Because we did these countertops ourselves, I know they're not very level. That being said, the tile's not gonna sit level, so I can't go off of the counter. I was going to lay the subway tile a little more traditional. That isn't speaking to me for this home, so I opted instead to go with a vertical herringbone pattern because I think it's going to be easier to hide the fact that the counter is uneven. And I'm not gonna have to worry about level as much. All right, the only way out is through. Let's get this done. So this point in time, there was just a lot going on um, in my world and adapting to divorce and kind of, you know, weighing out my options and what I wanted to do. Sorry, he's gonna be a little bit whiny in the background because he had an especially short nap today. So during this time, stress is an understatement. to do a thing today and just didn't think about it logistically before I actually started between like constant interruptions from my children and starting after dinner time. <laughs> it was just so unsatisfying to like start and then not get anything done and probably the little tiny bit that I did was very wrong. Hmm. I just go back and forth from like being fine and then wanting to cry. I completely understand that this is a first world problem. Like, I am a single mom who is struggling finding the emotional capacity to put together a backsplash. So I know that comes from a privileged place. There's my millennial disclaimer. Let's move on. So backing up a little. There was an opportunity that presented itself. Both of my grandmas passed away very beginning of this year and my parents actually ended up purchasing one of my grandma's homes. And the initial plan was that I could potentially move in there and rent from them and then just rent out my house, which is this one entirely. So right now I rent out my basement, but I was planning to move into my grandma's house and kind of help them fix it up and renovate it and stay there so that my kids could have a yard and space. But I wasn't comfortable renting out the upstairs here without tying up a few loose ends. The backsplash was one of the bigger ones. So I finally just decided to buckle down and get it done. I was like, how hard can it be? <laughs> how hard can it be? Every project I ever started ever, I think starts with that. Turns out it's very hard. Here's your toy. 
I think because there was so much going on internally and emotionally, I think that that really played into the amount of overwhelm that I experienced with trying to figure this project out. And on top of like still adjusting to um, this life of being a single parent, you know, trying to navigate and manage my time, how much energy I have to expend and to put into these projects, and then how much I need to reserve to actually just function in regular day-to-day -day life. So taking on this project, I think, was a little too much too soon with everything that I had going on inside. <laughs> So I would say I went into this project pretty confident and I was feeling like I was competent enough to figure it out on my own and to get it done. There is a reason why there are tradesmen for these very niche projects like tiling. So some things, yes, you can figure out and do it yourself, but man, I don't know. I think I would do it again just because I love the nature of DIY. I love the thrill of like figuring something out yourself. <laughs> Tiling, whew, at least with this backsplash. I think my issue was I started with a pattern that was kind of complicated as far as like lining it up because our countertops aren't super level and so I didn't really have, you know, a super level line to go off of. And it was my first time tiling. I think if it was floor tiling, it'd be a little more straightforward, but it was harder than I thought it would be. It was more than I expected. And a project that I thought would take max two days turned into an entire, I feel like by the end of it, it was almost two weeks into this project before I finished it. And I was going through so much outside of this project that just made it so, it was a little traumatic, honestly, like when I really think about it. Um, and I think that's why it's taken me so long to even get it out to you guys from a vlogging perspective, like going through all the video footage and trying to compile everything just because it felt overwhelming to even look through that footage and remember just how stressful it was. With the herringbone, um, it looks like right here we are going to increasingly... It is really like quick setting though. Okay. that I could convey the level of burnout that I have reached. <laughs> this project in particular has been one that's been weighing on my mind for forever, so I'm so glad that it's well underway and I'm actually nearing the end stages, which is just feeling all kinds of so much better. Kitchen projects are really fun, but when you're living in a project, when you're living in a renovation, it's just so, ooh, so inconvenient. Because the power has been off for the last several days because this project that was supposed to take two days is taking a million days. Like I warm things up in my microwave down the hall. I toast bread in my living room and I make coffee in my office. Just like, I'm ready for things to be calm and normal again. It is really messy in here. It is really messy in here. <laughs> my bun is loose. The bun is loose? Mm. 
I watched a video on grounding and it was saying that I need to wipe off my tiles like the day that I cement them and not wait till the weekend after to do it. Then it's harder. Watch that video a few days too late. I think I'm done with scraping all this out, which has been hours of work. I will never be this careless again. I have to go to Home Depot and I have to get grout, and then I think that's the last thing. There's a lot of like grainy water runoff film that's left on the surface of the tile and it's really noticeable especially because this room is so sunny and you have to use like an acid based cleaner. So this project is kind of on hold as far as finishing it until I have time to run to the store and pick that up. New installation should be cured a minimum of seven days and be clean. So I guess that means I have to wait seven days for this all to like. Maybe I will install all of the electric and then I'll be able to get my electric on and then I'll just plan on cleaning it a few days from now. Bummer. I guess I'll call. like day 500 of this project and I finally finished actually like doing all the tile grout around the edges and stuff. I'm not gonna lie my edges look pretty crappy. My cuts are just all over the place but at least it's consistently crappy right? You know overall like it does look better it looks really good. So I'm going to go over it with my grout haze cleaner kind of get off a lot of the remaining residue that wouldn't just wash off and finally get all of my stuff back in the kitchen. I'm just so ready to have this kitchen put back together.
still not completely finished. My edges are a little rough, a lot of rough actually. And that's probably the part that I just wish I could hide the most. <laughs> I went to Home Depot the other day and they do have like edging pieces and I think that will help to at least hide how uneven my edges are, how, you know, raggedy they look a little bit. If I put that clean edge on there, it's going to help to bring it all together, tie it in, make it look a little more professional, um, albeit very imperfect. Um, that's kind of the last thing, but as it is now, like it still is mostly complete and the filling in that room is different. I love spending my time in there. Um, I'm really excited to be able to decorate for the holidays, but just like cooking and, you know, just hanging out in the kitchen. It's such an inviting space and it's so much brighter and it's happier and I just really love it. And I'm glad that I did it in spite of all the stress and overwhelm. The transformation is so satisfying and that's what I love about these projects. Like outside of figuring it out yourself, which I love, it's the transformation. It's the, the start of a new chapter. It's um, just having something feel so much more like yourself, to surround yourself with that authenticity. And like, that's kind of what home feels like, right? I don't know. It feels <laughs> more complete than it has in a long time. And something about that just brings a lot of peace and it brings a new sense of home. And it's been fun. I've been enjoying it. There's not a day that goes by that I don't really notice it. I still walk in the kitchen and just, I just have like so much uh, gratitude that the project is over and just that it gives off the feels that it does. It's very happy. Thank you for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the backsplash and if you had a similar experience where it was just like a painful learning experience, drop a comment down below. Let's get to know each other and... Okay, just like old times, we'll catch you guys on the flip.